you guys doing another show another time for you to be on your screens i love you guys so much and i be missing you because when i'm here i'm actually interacting with you even though you don't see me but i see you even if you see something like that every tuesday 9 p.m here on u24 it is the time for the biggest or the greatest show here in uganda and that is hustle and bustle we come to or we talk to our hustlers they tell us what they go through to earn a living in uganda stubborn nurse is my name you can get me on facebook instagram tiktok stubborn nurse and today we're talking about digital marketing i just can't wait for hello how are you i'm very fine how are you i'm fine so what are your names uh my name is nelson nyombi Nelson Nyombi. So in the intro, I've said that um, we have digital marketing. Um, first and foremost, for someone who may not you know, be knowing what digital marketing is, can you briefly explain or tell them what it is? Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, digital marketing is marketing something online or marketing a service or a product online. Or, or a person. Yes, or a person, or a business, or a company, or a brand. Yeah, so, brand. Yeah. So online. online. We do it online. Yes. Yes. So digital marketing, like they promote or they market or they put out there either a service or a product or a company or a brand online as in dot com, not dot to do. Oba not I'm I'm located at UBC. No, no. Online. So how is it like how is the business is it a good business for someone to do here in Uganda Well personally I think it's a, a good business mm. because it's really now now that we are going digital the world everything. is going yes everything is going digital and um, I think it's a good business because we saw what happened in covid Yes uh, oh, yes um, uh, yes, so, so talking about COVID, it brings me to my next question. For how long have you been doing this? Was it before COVID or during or after COVID? Uh, before COVID, I was working for a company mm. as a digital, a, digital, a digital personnel there. So I was just helping them under a large... Um, I was working for another company and I was working under another company whereby I was just on ground helping them through their digital strategies so i wasn't working as a, a my own company yeah, you yeah. were employed yes i was employed actually i was doing my internship oh okay internship so should we say this was your well, this was or this is your first job or uh, hustle? this is not my first okay job. can you tell us those other hustles that you did before digital marketing well uh i started in school hustling of course wow. you know when you're a boy you know you have to go out mm. there and look for something you you're not to going to yes you're not going to go back to your parents mm. and you know ask for money ask for you know want to buy clothes you want to buy this you see you have to go out there and hustle so in school i had a friend we started with in a level uh, it's called martin so martin had a website and as me personally i'm a writer so okay. he used he, he wanted my 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 assistance mm. in in what in writing content, the yes. information on the website yes content yeah. writing so that's how i started mm. uh learning seo learning what wordpress mm. learning you know all the content uh, management systems that were available by then mm. uh learning what to do so that's how i started mm. uh by then, I was writing articles for him, and he used to give me 10k per article. And I made sure that in a month, I could actually <laughs> write more. At so least, the more you write, yes, the, the more, more money. Yes, wow. at least in a month, I would write uh, 30. So that is that is 300. 300 yes. Yeah. So that's how I started. And um, coming on with school, I was at Macquarie University and i was doing a, an it course that mm, is software engineering well, my, you're the it students at campus yeah so by then uh, you know when you have a computer and you know how to use a computer mm. you don't have to look for a job wow. i might say wow talking yeah. about that and um, people undermine you know so many courses ict inclusive people think i'm um, that doing law or doing education or doing medicine which other serious course or more professional course yeah uh, you can give me accounting etc 
They think that um, if you're doing courses like ICT, Manyanga Hotel Management, Manyanga Tourism, you won't make it in life. But then here we do have a young boy that um, did ICT and he's into digital marketing. And as you know, the world is going digital, like dot com everything. What can you tell them? Well, what I, the, the only word I have for them is the world is going digital and once you have a computer with you, mm. you can start anything, anywhere, where you are. Mm. You can even work from home. Oh, talking about having a computer with you and you know, and you're able to work from home. Um, there is some, you know, propaganda going around that um, there are jobs online whereby if you apply, you can work from home and you earn so much money. Is it true or false? <laughs> Well, Mama, is it true? I'm not talking about you. <laughs> is it true or false? <laughs> well, uh, that question is, I, I would want to answer it in both sides. It is true and it's wrong. Or oh, it's ah, false. Wow, it is true but it is wrong. Wow. Well, to, to expound on that, uh, personally, I was working for a company recently, mm. just recently, after mm. campus. I was working for a company in Australia, uh -huh. and I was here. And these are companies or businesses outside of Uganda. So, you go on Google and search for, you know, that job that you want. That is why in Australia or America, and in Uganda, in, in your room in one day, yeah. And then you get a job and you're paid monthly or wages. I want to elaborate more because it is digital, you know, it is about digital online stuff. Yeah, actually, they don't pay monthly, mm. they pay per hour. Oh, yeah. Per hour, per hour is can, a wage. Yeah. yeah, they can give you maybe $40 per hour. <laughs> and $40 is a lot here in Uganda. Uh -huh. You put now, that money, uh -huh. yeah, 40, 40, 100 minus 40, that is $60. So 100 here, $100 here is 360 something, mm. you see. So that is a lot of money. Mm. But working online, mm. um, it depends on which company you are working for. Mm -hmm. There are few genuine companies, mm -hmm. and mm. there are many um, buffets, mm -hmm. you know. So, uh, with with for me, I was working for a company in Australia, and it was genuine. It was, lucky. Yeah, it was genuine. Yeah, it was, you were so lucky. And by the way, online work is is there. You can work online because. Uh -huh. What we think about working online here in Uganda is betting. Mm. That's what we think, mm. that online work is just betting. Because mm. a friend asked me one time and they're like, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm an online worker. And they're like, are you these people who bet, who, you know, buy stocks and, you know, mm. that is, um, uh, currency, which currency is this? Bitcoin. Oh, yeah. So, cryptocurrency. Yes, cryptocurrency, yeah. yeah. They think that when you're working online you're dealing in crypt mm. cryptocurrency or betting mm. but actually online work i also see links going around mm. oh. whereby they are telling you come and start working mm. you send links to you know 100 people in mm. your contacts you you get 10 dollars that's wrong online work genuine online work is you provide you provide something for the money they are going to give you, you provide a service okay. or you have to do something that, and you know that once you do this thing someone is gaining out of it and that's why they're paying you now when you send links to other people mm. how does the company gain <laughs> so you ask yourself that question mm. and you can know that this is genuine or it's non genuine wow. so for the company i was working for i was mm. doing digital marketing mm. I was for creating them. yes for them. I was creating content, marketing content. For example, the the, the, the messages you see on mm. banners over get you know get this deal fifty percent. Mm. What oh, yes mm. yes. So those are marketing messages. I was creating that. I was writing content, full content, because mm. the other company is uh, it was a tech company mm. and it was providing services for government agencies in mm. Australia. So we were create, creating websites, mm. uh, depending on the task you have for mm. a day. You could create uh, content, that is blogs on, on WordPress. Mm. You could optimize, that is search engine optimization, SEO. You could um, build websites, you could op optimize websites, you could rebrand, mm. you could rebuild websites. Mm. So it depended on the task you have mm. for a day. Yeah, and that is genuine work. 
Because wow. we used to work from 7 a.m. Mm. We were working on a system because they would monitor you that mm. now you are working, now you're off. Mm. And once you're off and it's not time to be off, they would ask you why are you off. Oh. So yeah, they would monitor you. So that is genuine work. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So generally, we don't have that here in Uganda and we are trying to create that. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Wow. So if you want to get such you know such quick money, I think um, it is better you do some research. You know, go to guys like him and you know ask or inquire about that before <laughs> before you land on two buffets that will even you know hack into your different accounts and stuff because um those links say eh? Bismayanga tap on this link, eh? Bismayanga, which, which, those are hackers. But now and this is hustle advice. So we are here to help you get the money genuinely so do we have um do we have any successful digital marketing people here in uganda you know for people to be motivated i can also do it well there, there are many there are many i wouldn't mention them as you know individuals because most of them are working under companies because for digital marketing you can't work alone Imagine if uh, you had 10 companies you are working for, how would you mm -hmm. provide services ten, to yeah, those 10, 10 companies? companies. Yeah, yeah, you can't uh, you can't work alone. Mm -hmm. So most of the digital marketing people or individuals, mm -hmm. you know, come up and form, a, come together and they form a, a, an agency. And through that agency, mm -hmm. they can provide services to 10 more companies. Mm -hmm. And that's how they're doing it. Mm -hmm. But there are many of them. Yeah. So you say that um, before you know you was you know self-employed, you were employed somewhere. Um, should we say that um, there are certain things that you learned from that company where you was working from that you implemented or that you used while you was you know starting your own? Well, very many things that I learned. Okay. Very many. Like? Well, before I actually joined the, my biggest um, success or my biggest achievement mm. in this field was when I joined the, the company in Australia. First mm. of all, uh, when I was still at campus and doing, you know, internship with a, another company as a digital um, digital personnel there, mm. I I wanted to start up my something in digital marketing. I had that dream, but I don't I didn't know how to get started. I didn't know. I knew that, I knew content creation, mm. I knew graphics, I knew... Like you knew the basics. Yes, I, because I did software engineering, I mm. knew how to develop a website mm. from scratch, mm. using CMS. Wow. So wow. I knew all that, mm. but I didn't know. I how didn't know start, how to how get to started. How to put your leg. <laughs> yes, I didn't know. I was going to put my leg like this, I was going to stretch my leg. So, like how to... <laughs> so mm. getting started, uh, by then, as I, I was in a, in a process actually of, of starting, but I didn't I didn't know how to start. Mm -hmm. So when I finished my internship and I was just there, um, a friend contacted me mm -hmm. and he was like, "I'm working somewhere and they want someone like you." Yeah. And I'm like, "Which yeah. which company?" Mm -hmm. He said, "It's a camp." At first, he, he told me it's in Rwanda, mm -hmm. so I thought it's Rwanda. Mm -hmm. So he shared my contact with the, with the boss or with the manager in Rwanda, mm -hmm. but the, the, the company was in Australia, but it has branches. Branches, offices in different yes, countries. Yes, they have Rwanda wow. and some other countries apart wow. from here. Mm -hmm. So he shared my, my contact. Mm -hmm. um, the manager called me on, he didn't call me on, on phone. Mm -hmm. he, he sent me a WhatsApp message and he's like, we should have an interview online. I went online, that is Google Meet. How do you, okay, just brief, uh, how did you do that interview? Because we see different memes on, <laughs> we see different memes on internet, eh? like for people that are on Zoom, smartly dressed upstairs, but here now, they are in boxers. Let's go in for a very short break, we shall start from there. How was that interview? This is all his hustle in digital marketing. Do not touch your remote, do not touch your dial. We are still here and we are coming back.
welcome back from the break you're still here on you 24 you're watching hustle and bustle in case it is your first time to watch the show maybe you was you know changing channels or you know or maybe a friend told you about this show it is hustle and bustle show for hustlers we talk to hustlers just like him and they tell us how they run their businesses how did they start their businesses and etc before the break one ma how was that interview that online interview one ma <laughs> <laughs> of course online interviews you know what to do mm. you don't have to <laughs> but some are very indisciplined like yeah. like have you just seen those you know photos moving around on social media when someone is on zoom or maybe an interview or a meeting and stuff and they're you know putting on a quote and a tie but then he had down boxers and slippers of course who will see that if you are seated no, but I think um, the way you're going to present yourself, you know, from the outlook to the, you know, to the inside and everything matters. Well, it depends on the time. For example, you, you might you might be having a meeting at, at 7 or at 6.40 because now this interview was Australia and no. I was here in Uganda. Yeah, the time. Yes, time the zone. time. Yes, the time zone is different. Of course, you, you, you just wake up go maybe brush and put up you know okay now what if i think i i, I know this is 90 percent but what if your boss or the interviewer tells you can you please you know stand up of course they couldn't <laughs> what <laughs> just to see your you know your whole body <laughs> uh, because uh, at first they were they were going for they, they, they would ask for our photos you know so i i don't think so before the interview saying, like like you must have sent yeah, your, okay. yeah exactly yeah. so how was that interview how did it go well uh the boss okay the manager for the interview um after the interview he told me that i knew whatever they wanted wow so and uh after a, a week later they told me i would go for um that is trial for two weeks wow. i went for trial for two weeks then I went for probation for a month wow. and then I, I, I was on full salary. Wow. So working there, um, I learned, you know, you know, those people out there, they want quality. That is one thing I've learned about them. They want quality work. Once it's not quality, it's not out. You get hey. So that is one uh, thing I learned that once a website, maybe you're dealing with a website, you're building a website, once it is not quality, don't publish it. Wow. Once an article is not quality, don't yes, publish don't it. Publish it. Wow. That is one. I learned to use a lot of tools because in digital marketing, we use a lot of tools. Leave alone um, using Facebook, of course, Facebook ah. is a tool, using yeah. WhatsApp, using uh, TikTok. Twitter, Twitter. TikTok. Leave alone that. Oh. Those are just channels. There Distribute. are more, yes. more, you know, professional buttons or, you know. Yeah, there are more professional tools that wow. you should use tools. in digital marketing. Wow. So I got learned, I got, I got introduced to such tools. And there are many tools out there that not people here are using. Wow. And they are very, very good. Mm. So that is two. I, I learned how to use the tools. Three. I, I got engaged with big companies. Wow. You see, we were working with um, HESC, that is Hydrogen Energy wow. Supply Chain wow. for Australia. It's wow. a big, big wow. uh, project wow. for the government of Australia. Wow. So we, we were working on that project. Wow. We are building the, the website, wow. we build the socials, wow. uh, we built, um, we, built uh, we, we did graphics for them. Wow. So. I, I interacted with a lot of professionals out there. Wow. Live alone interacting with professionals here. Wow. Professionals here in Uganda. Wow. So that made you ready yes. for the field individually. Yes, it got me ready. Mm. I when I actually I got the money from the money I used to start. Uh, oh, oh, my, from that from the yes. Australia guy. Yes. Wow. I, I used some of the, the, the money. To buy the the things that I needed, wow. that is um, buying domain and starting building the, the website, mm. uh, buying um, uh, computers mm. that I needed, mm. uh, buying. Uh, right now, you know, by then I was using a phone to to wow. provide hotspot. Wow. 
I buy I, I bought a router to provide hotspot for to my team, you know. Wow. The, the the problem we were facing by then um I was starting of, of, of course and I told my friends mm. of which were at campus mm. I told them that I want to start this thing so wow. some of them bought it and they came in wow. and um, wow. after of course you know providing hotspot as a team using a phone a phone would support a few just a few to join yeah. but then I needed something uh, a router maybe that connects at, uh, up to, up to 33 people wow. you get Wow. So I bought a router, I bought a desk. Wow. From I the other a... money? Yes. Wow. So whenever I would get paid, mm. I would go to town. Because okay. we used to we used to work. You know, online work, people, you know, despise online work. Mm. Very, but, here, here in Uganda. Very. But online work is really, really, really profitable. profitable. And, and even like it, like it makes you busy, like you get engaged in different things. Exactly. Wow. And so, you, you know, I was working more than... Uh, someone who is working you know yeah maybe in an office yes, you know exactly. as a tight, you know like certain location yes because wow. for me i would start work at seven sharp seven we are having a meeting online meeting and you would tell the bosses that like from all countries okay, yes from different countries from different wow. countries wow. so you would tell your team that today yesterday i was working on this okay. i moved 50 percent or i moved 60 percent on it I would, uh, I, I will complete the forty yeah, percent today. today. Wow. Then I would be handling this. Wow. They would also tell you. So you would know that this and this that and this is being handled by wow. this. Okay. Wow. So by seven we have a meeting. Mm. You would work. You would work. You would work till 10, 10 p.m. in the in the evening. Ten. You PM. must be kidding me like yes. from 7 a.m to 10 p.m yes that's exactly too much. it's too much that's too <laughs> and and you know uh, and you see people here are uh, moving to offices you uh, go at eight yeah they are used to you know to to that timetable or schedule office 9 a.m yes. you leave office at four at five four, you are out four, yeah okay four four p.m yes mm. you're out and for us uh. because the computer is there there is no excuse that uh, yeah, i'm no in jam or i mean you know thank i'm called you. up somewhere thank you so wow. unless unless power goes power wow. is off. so people think um that um working online or digital marketing is easy because i mean you, you know like you're, you're seated at home or maybe office working on a computer but it is actually difficult it is very difficult because wow. and uh it needs you to be you know motivated and you love very, what you are doing very. very and even you know talking about you know sitting on that computer from 7 to 10 the computer light isn't it risky you know does it like doesn't it affect your your sight well it does but okay. uh the those glasses the light glasses that oh, yeah you okay. use them yeah they are wow. very protective very wow. protective yeah wow so Oh, this is interesting. After creating your own business of digital marketing, you got your team. Do you have a place where you're situated? Apparently, like I told you, it's digital. It's digital, and we are working online. But but uh, uh, but yes, it is digital. But then I think you know, meeting, you know, coordinating with your team members, or like you, like you still, it is online. Coordinating still online. Like I told you. Wow. I, I learned a lot. Of, I, I was introduced to a lot of tools. Yes. We are using um, Zoho. It's called Zoho. It, it manages, it monitors who is working today and who is wow. not. Wow, from so wherever they for, are. From wherever, Whoosh. whether they are in Barara, whether... Wow. If at all we were here in Uganda and we are working for a company in Australia and we would deliver. Wow. deliver work so how about you know you're in uganda you, you know you're five or six that is very easy very easy wow so that's okay. what we use apparently mm. but later on mm. of course we want to put up offices in yes. town and yes. yeah it's very yeah. nice it's yeah. you know to for people for passers by to see uh -huh. you know because those are also clients, yes, those are, those are clients. Yeah. because not okay uh, for us we see, we know that 96 percent of um companies are using uh, digital marketing for us we know and we know the statistics and we know that uh, that 32.2 percent of ugandans are using the internet okay so we know that we can reach out to that 32 percent yes and even the other 
Yeah, yes. What, what is a hundred minus thirty-two is what that are not all that like is sixty-eight. Yeah, that are not all. Yes. You know, so the border, border guys. yes. So we want we want to target them wow. by you know having an office somewhere. Wow. So later on we are, we shall do that. But for now wow. we want to we want to the only thing that we we were chasing that was on our neck here was we wanted to to get to get um you know the documents the papers the legal. yeah yeah making it legal there is um ursb there is kcc there is etc so we got that we managed to get that because wow. um that so meaning you guys are you know like like you guys have a license you're registered yes we have a license well, but i mean you're working online what is the license for now the license <laughs> <laughs> you the, the the license is not you know important but you see, when you're working for an agency or you're working for a, you, a company has hired you, yes, your company. Yes, they want to know if the government now, knows you. Now, when they are paying you, you, mm. you remember when a company is paying you, they have to deposit your taxes. Mm. You get yeah, So once yeah, they realize yeah, that yeah. you're not registered, mm. they would, even if you're good, they wouldn't want wow. to, you know, most companies want to, 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 to wow. interact with, you know, so other companies that are legal. whether you're working online whether you're working in town like at a certain location you have to be registered yes you have to wow because once you're not registered you're going to lose out on some on big big opportunities thank you very thank you wow so we wanted to get registered and okay. we did that mm. uh actually we have a company we okay a company we we, re, we reach out wow. recently wow. and um yeah we are proceeding because uh, they they, uh, they 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 accepted our our proposal, proposal. yeah our digital marketing proposal and wow. yeah we, we are starting work soon wow now into the process of you know marketing someone or some things you know or you know on you but now the time runs so fast what is the process of you know market now let us talk about i think the website because a website is very rare in uganda mm. do you think a website is important or crucial to a brand to any service any product you think well i like giving statistics and mm. while we are we are building content on our mm. on our website for our website we use statistics to give you the real thing so mm. that you can see that By really yourself. something is very important mm. did you know that uh, up to 50 percent mm -hmm. of people mm. search for a brand or search for a product online before they go out to buy it Thank you so much. So meaning you have to be with a website because a website has like literally everything and everything that you do. Exactly. Cause now like it is a one stop center. Yes, exactly. Wow. And uh, you, you can actually convince someone to buy your product by talking about on it on your website. Wow. So a website, but then, um, hmm. Do you think people know about websites? Okay, like the the fifty percent. Okay, they know, but these others, how like how can they get to know about the importance of a website? Well, first of all, when you start up a, a business, you would actually have seen many bus many business websites there which are not taken care of but someone has a website uh -huh. thank you so much for bringing it up even you know maintaining the website is very difficult but now it is costly exactly ah. so <laughs> you, you see that you see when you see that uh, someone is not maintaining the website but they have it they know that it is important that's why when they were starting their business, they went out and hey, got someone to build it yes, for them. Just for just, yes, just although, in case. Although they don't know how to use it. And that's how we Even come in. Even using it is very difficult. Yes, and that is where you come that's in. That's how wow, we come in. Wow. So, because oh, wow. when we come in, yeah. we get your website. And mm. if it's not uh, quality, mm. we have to. Sorry. Wow, okay. when you get an office, we shall come and we talk more about, you know, the process of marketing and everything because this is a very big and deep hustle. Thank you so much for coming on to our show. Thank you so much. I've okay. learned a lot. I've learned a lot also. <laughs> Learned what from me now, but then, but like, I, no, I'm serious. Like, when you open up an office, I, I want us to come and talk to your team the process of marketing, you know. Ah, uh, we shall be there to provide the, the, the information. Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome.